I come to the museum with my dad a lot. We look at the paintings on the first floor, and then we see the library. What is exciting to me when I come to the museum is seeing these paintings because they're all by Hispanic painters. The Hispanic Society and Museum is, simply put, uh, the most important institution in the entire world, comprised of the culture of the Iberian Peninsula and all of Latin America. The importance of the Hispanic Society between the museum and the library is its comprehensiveness. The collections exceed 750,000 works, 40,000 rare books, over 900 paintings, 7,000 drawings, 10,000 works of sculpture. Other institutions have bits and pieces, uh, but the Hispanic Society has it all. Besides being a museum and having an exquisite collection of art, the Hispanic Society has a robust calendar of events throughout the year lectures, concerts. It really is a place that has its open doors to everyone in the community. The renovations that are going on at the moment will allow us to expand ultimately exhibition space, visitor facilities, storage, and it will completely transform the institution in the future. I think the role of museums as being solely to present visual art this is a thing of the past. I think the only way to connect with the community is by having public programming. So the Hispanic Society is taking this opportunity of the museum being closed for the renovation to reach out to the community and strengthen the relationships it already has. New York is a diverse city, you know, and a lot of the population, it's from different Hispanic cultures. It's fortuitous now that there's a large Hispanic population here because that community, very much in particular, can take advantage of the resources and the programs that the Hispanic Society have. One of my favorite programs is Cuéntame un Cuadro. That painting over there was the first painting we did for our Cuéntame un Cuadro. They tell you the story of the painting, who did it. I mean, it's really interesting, and I liked it because the, the colors were so vibrant, so bright. Most of our students, you know, make a clear connection or a better connection when they see something. So that the fact that the students are able to see a painting, to learn about the history, to hear about it, I think it gives them a better experience. And in terms of their learning process, I think it will help them make a better and clearer connection. Gracias a la Society for invitarnos y gracias a ustedes. This is a place of pilgrimage. It's a voyage of discovery to come to the uh, Hispanic society and discovery of just how, how rich is not just this collection, but how rich is the cultural heritage of Spain and the Americas. Art is a way that we reflect ourselves, that we reflect our community, that we reflect the world and what's going on. An organization like the Hispanic Society allows us to venture into who we are. In the future, this institution will remain faithful to its main mission, to present the art of the Iberian Peninsula, of the Americas, in the best way possible and at the highest level of quality. And what more can you ask of an institution? I haven't been to Ecuador, where I'm from, in a very long time, so this is really cool because I get like that little bit of my Hispanic culture right here in New York.